you know, Yahweh gives us a chance every time. Amen. Amen. We know that Miss Paula, her, her book is closed. Amen. And all those, those that passed away, their book is closed. Amen. Amen. But we are still alive this morning. Hallelujah. You know, I had to come with a song in my mouth. I had to come with a testimony in my mouth because Amen. I owe Yahweh everything. Yes. Because he is why I am still living. Hallelujah. He is why I still have a house. Amen. And a, a car that I can drive, a job to go to. A beautiful wife that I can say that we're laboring in this way. And I truly do thank Yahweh for her. Yeah, I haven't really been sleeping that much because she hasn't been here. Amen. Amen. But, you know, I've been thinking about her and praying for her because she also hasn't been feeling too good. Amen. 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 But I know Yahweh's a healer. Yes. I know that Yahweh can do all things yes. because there's nothing too hard for God. Amen. There's nothing too hard for him, and I know that if I put my trust in him, he always makes a way for me. Hallelujah. Amen. I woke up with another breath of life. Thank you. Amen. I'm breath breathing this air that he's freely given unto me. Amen. No, I don't count myself worthy of anything that I have. Amen. Amen. This word of truth that we're able to hear. I'd like to go to Philippians 2. Amen. But Yahweh has been very good unto us. Amen. And it's, it's good that we always remember him in all things. Amen. And of course, we always remember the examples that were set before us. Hallelujah. Apostle Washington and Mother Karen. I was hearing Amen. testimonies on how they, how they are. Amen. Amen. When it comes concerning the, the spirit of Yahweh. Amen. This miss was talking about how she thought Apostle was going <laughs> to agree with her. The Spirit isn't going to agree with us. Amen. Amen. It will agree if it's, it's, if it's the right thing that you're saying. But Amen. I know the Spirit's always going to give us what we need. Amen. Amen. There's a lot of times I thought the Spirit was going to agree with me yeah. as far as a father, as far as my concerns. Yeah. And the Spirit wasn't on my side. Amen. Amen. Because I was in my feelings. Yeah. It was more about how I felt at the time. Yes. But the Spirit wasn't calling for it. Amen. Amen. But I had to gird up the loins of my mind. Because at times when the Spirit don't agree with you, here comes the devil. Yes. He Amen. comes in and tries to uproot everything. Yes. See, you say, well, see, you, you can never do nothing right. Amen. Amen. Every time you say something, it's always a no. It's always no this, no that. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You're always getting in trouble for something. Your name is always brought up for something. Amen. See, that's the devil. Amen. The devil's trying to come and take us out of this way. Amen. But we can't let them. Amen. There's so many that left this way. Hallelujah. So many. There's only few few left. Amen. Amen. This is Amen. all we have left. As Amen. We look around. Well, this is all we have left. Yeah, that's right. yeah. But we're on Bible order. Amen. A few there be that find it. Amen. There's going to be some that come running real real fast, real strong, thinking that they're never going to give up in this way. But they do. Hallelujah. They ran too fast. Amen. Try to run ahead of the Spirit. Hallelujah. They end up falling. Amen. Amen. Remember, I used to try to run so fast. You know, when you run so fast from something, you end up tripping and falling. You're not looking at where you're going. Amen. You end up falling down. That's what happens when you run ahead of the Spirit. Amen. You fall down. Amen. And then the devil looks and see how far you got to swim back. Yes. Amen. 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 And then Satan ain't got no life jacket for you. No. He, wants you to, he wants you to drown. Amen. He wants you to give up. Yes. But Yahweh is greater than him. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. He is much stronger than him. That's why we have to hold on to the Word of God. Yes. To remind our house where we stand. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Remind our house how, how we're lifting up a standard. Amen. That what me, I was talking to my wife about. Yes. That we got to get, get more stronger and get more rooted in his way. Yes. Look how Apostle raised his family. Hallelujah. That's how we're we going to have to be. Because yes. our kids are getting older. Yes. 
they're going to have to fight the devil, same devil we fight. Yeah, right. Amen. Yeah. When you realize when you get older, everything starts changing. It's not like you was when you were a child. Amen. Right. You have to learn how to grow up. Yeah, right. Amen. Start working for yourself. Amen. Then you realize you ain't got the money when your parents used to tell you, I ain't got the money for that. Uh -huh. Then you didn't realize until you got older and got a job. Yeah, right. <laughs> money don't grow on trees. That's what you tell them, too. Amen. 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 You never know until you start having children. Yeah. Start losing sleep and all that. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I didn't learn a lot of things until I started. I had kids. Uh -huh. Do you really eat that much? <laughs> <laughs> really eat that much? They're out of school now. You really think prices of groceries were high when they were in school. Now they're out of school. Amen. Amen. But Yahweh always provides. Amen. Always, You always have enough food in your, in your pantry of what you can look for and say, you know what, Yahweh, you've been good unto us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I'd like to read here in Philippians 2. Philippians 2 and 1. Yes, sir. Where it's written. Uh-huh. If there is therefore any consolation in the Messiah, uh -huh. if any comfort of love, yes. if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any inward affections and mercies. See, we have to have mercies. Amen. Amen. We have to be merciful even as Yahweh is merciful Amen. unto us. Praise we have to look around and say, we, I got I to gotta be more compassionate. Amen. Amen, because that devil sure don't want me to be compassionate. Amen. He want me to look at you and say what I feel. Amen. 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 He always comes with something that I want to say. Amen. But I got to keep this mouth with a bridle, yeah. like Jonathan was saying. Yeah. Got to keep this mouth, because this mouth will tear people down. Amen. Amen. If, you're not, if you're not walking after the spirit, Amen. The spirit, <laughs> then you feel bad after you said it. Amen. The devil going to say, you shouldn't have said that. You shouldn't have acted that way. Now he's over there, over there telling you, oh, yeah, go ahead and say it. Tell him how you feel. Show him how you feel. Amen. Then you do it, then he turn around and say, well, you shouldn't have did that. See, I, I let you know the devil don't love you like you think he does. Amen. Amen. Paul's often use that testimony of a sister in his way. She's like, I'm going to give that uh, the, uh, another sister in his way. He said, I'm going to give that sister a piece of my mind. Paul's just like, you don't even, don't do that. Amen. Not even a little bit. Amen. Not even a piece of it. Right, Amen. Amen. Because that piece that you're going to give, it, it's going to mess everything up. Yeah, it's going to make it harder for that sister to come to you. Hallelujah. That brother to come to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Because you decided to get into your feelings. Yeah. We got to remember that we're in here, to, we're in the saving business. Amen. The bishops are in the saving business. Hallelujah. We're in here to save your soul. Amen. Amen. I'm here to follow after the apostles' doctrine. Well, it's written for me. We got to keep the ordinances that be of God. Amen. When the apostles gone, we got to keep the ordinances. Amen. We got to be strong for ourselves. Because one day he's going to give up the ghost. Mother Karen going to give up the ghost one day. Amen. Elder may not be here. One day, Mother Mary might not be here. Amen. Ones that are strong is, may not be here. Amen. Amen. What about the generation afterwards? Amen. Amen. Is that same spirit still going to be striving in the church? Amen. Hallelujah. Or did we make them our all in all? Amen. We only in here because of them. Amen. We got to be in here for salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. We have to have bowels of mercy. Hallelujah. It's like Yahweh's have mercy on us. Amen. Every day I'm able to get in my car and drive, but I thank Yahweh. I say, I pray to him, say, Yahweh, keep me safe on this highway because you never know what's going to happen. Amen? You never know. You may wake up, your house may be on fire because you were so tired. Amen? So it's, it's happened. But Yahweh keeps us safe. Hallelujah. Keeps us real safe. Amen. Angels are surrounding us. Hallelujah. From harm that we don't see. Amen. That's why I, I wake up with a song in my mouth. Amen. That's why I wake up with a testimony in my mouth. Because Yahweh has been my protector. Many times I should have been dead. But I'm still here. 
Amen. I'm still walking around. Amen. When the doctor said I should be paralyzed at this age. Amen. Amen. Diagnosed me with scoliosis when I was younger. They say you shouldn't be walking right now. You should be with a cane at least. Amen. Amen. But I'm looking at the power of God. I'm looking at what he can do. As long as I stay faithful. Amen. Yahweh, gonna, he going to heal my body. Amen. He already has. I already claimed it. Amen. Once I, the best thing for me to do was I, when I walked into this church and I gave myself to Yahweh. That was the best thing I did. Amen. Yahweh kept me over the years. But he showed bowels of mercy on me. Even when I didn't deserve it. Well, let's read. Fulfill you my joy, uh -huh. that you be my, like minded. Yes. Having the same love, being one, uh, one accord of one mind. Yeah, we got to have the same mind. Yes. Amen. As Apostle has, as Mother Karen has. Amen. We have to have the same. We got to be like minded. Amen. Got to serve Yahweh like they do. Oh, right. Amen. When somebody comes seek counsel from you, yes. you got to remember them. Amen. Remember how they taught things. Amen. Everything's a learning situation when they're here. So that way you ain't got to call them. Amen. You already know what they, what they, what I learned from them when they were here. How did they talk to me when I was in that situation? Did he re raise his voice at me? Did he talk to me like I was dumb? No, he didn't. Amen. He listened to what you had to say and he, he discerned it. The spirit gave him what to say and he said it. We, did we like it or not? At times we didn't. Amen. And at times we did. Amen. But the Spirit's going to give you what, what you need. Amen. Every time. But we have to have the same love too. Right. Same love for one another that they have for us. Amen. We got to show it to, to our brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. The ones that's left in his way. Because if we don't show that love too, we gonna run. they're going to run off. Amen. Love is what keeps us here. Amen. I am my brother's keeper. Amen. Uh, Cain said, am I my brother's keeper? He should have been. He should have just got, did the same offering that Abel gave. He said, you know what? I see my brother gave this. Let me give more because I didn't give my best. Yeah, Abel would still been alive. He wouldn't have slew him. Amen. If we ain't walking right, that's what we doing. We we slaying one another. We killing one another. That's why some have ran off. Amen. Some have killed them. Amen. Some of their blood blood are on hand, hands of some in this way. Amen. Because they wasn't being our brother's keeper. They look, they were doing something wrong. You didn't say nothing about it. Especially in this house. Amen. In the house of Yahweh, it's holy. Amen. We got to remember to keep our foot when we come into Yahweh's house. Because Yahweh's place is holy. Amen. It ain't nothing that just goes on in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got rules that are set up in the church. Hallelujah. Now, I do, I, I do, I do need to remind those that have children in his way. Now, as long as we're having Spanish service in the front or back there and at the beginning, your, your kids can eat in here. But once they're done and you want to give them something to eat, you take them to the back. That's the only thing the Spirit has agreed on. Amen. Amen. Believe me, I always seek counsel before I even give an answer to anybody. Hallelujah. I want to get someone who's higher in his way. Pastor, what do you think about this situation? How would you handle this? He say this and this. And we don't go no further than that. Amen. Amen. I got to lay down what the Spirit already said. And you got to take heed to what's already been taught in this way. Because we can get high-minded at times. Thinking we above the Spirit. Amen. We don't want to catch ourselves above the Spirit. Amen. Because what the Spirit going to do, he going to pull you down. Amen. He's going to take you out of this way. The devil going to come in. He's going to take that joy, that, that love away from you. Amen. Because you're looking at somebody else wrong. Amen. But we're here to remind you what's been taught in this way. 
That's our job. Amen. We lift the standard in this place. Amen. We ain't like them false churches don't have no order in, they ha in the church. We got to have it. It was set upon his shoulders. The government in the church was set upon his shoulders. Amen. He's the one that heals us. He's the one that gives us what we need. Amen. When we need finances, he's there for us. Amen. But we have to obey what's been taught in the church. Hallelujah. The rules that are in the church. Amen. How we dress outside the church. Hallelujah. Amen. Everything contains to the church, how we represent the church. Yes. Amen. Paying your tithe and offering, all that. Amen. Some have left. Their, their, their tithing money, uh, tithing is gone from this place. Yes. Amen. We have to take up. Amen. Amen. We need meat that comes into the storehouse. Yes. We don't want to be the ones that rob God. Amen. Amen. Apostle may not know what's in the book, but I do. I know what's in the book. Amen. I know who's paying, who's not. Amen. Amen. Like I said, Paul's may not. Amen. But I do. Yeah. I'm the pastor of the church. That's my job. Yeah. Amen. 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 We need meat in the storehouse. Yeah. Amen. We need things to pay the bills around here. Yeah. Amen. Electricity and all that. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our AC is broken right now. Going to cost over $1,000 to fix that. Amen. So we're probably going to have to put another window unit in the, in the, in the, in the, in the window yeah. to keep us cool in, in the hot days. Yeah. But it takes finances for that. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yahweh deserves the best. Yeah. All the best from us. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He already paid the price. Yeah. When his son died for us. Took upon the sins of the world Amen. and been and was an example for us and how we ought to live. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what we have to have the same love. Amen. Bowels of mercies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's read. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory. Yes. But in lowliness of mind. Uh -huh. Let each other esteem each others better than, than themselves. We got to esteem others better than ourselves. Hallelujah. See, I got to. I esteem you better than myself. Amen. Because if I'm walking in the flesh, I'm thinking myself is higher than you. Amen. I'll start, start thinking my life is better than yours. Amen. Because I got, I got money in my pocket. Right now, we ain't got no money in our pocket. Because we had to pay for that, that water heater in our house. That was about $600. Amen. I mean, of course, we took care of Yahweh first. Amen. Right now, we do. We just ain't got the money we we need. We need at the moment, Amen. but we have food that we need. Amen. We got enough to get us by. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Yahweh. We we trust Yahweh. Amen. 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 But we ain't lacking nothing. My faith ain't failing because I ain't got no money in my pocket. I ain't got no cash app money. Amen. Amen. I ain't got nothing, no Zelle money. None Amen. of that. Amen. Only money I got is from the, the people the people that pay the tithe and offer. That's it. Amen. But I, I only use that when, when it's according to the spirit. When I ask the positive, could we use it for this? We could use it for the, the church. We can buy this. Yeah. And he said, yay or nay. Amen. If he says nay, I don't use it. Amen. Amen. We don't use it. Amen. It stays there. Amen. Amen. Thank you, I ain't driving in the finest car and all that. Amen. My wife's the only one that got the nice car, and she drives it. Amen. I got to push start mine and push it a little bit. <laughs> Every time I get out the car, it says, key not detected. So I say, amen. That's what Yahweh blessed me to have at the moment. Amen. But I'm not fading, falling out and all that. Amen. Faith failing. Hallelujah. Amen. Holy Ghost laid down like the world, like the, the Paul Church would say. Let me go get a job so I can, so I can take up church hours and all that. No, I ain't gonna do that. Amen. Yahweh is my provider. Amen. Amen. He He's put me in this situation so I can learn how to trust in Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You in a situation so you can trust in Yahweh. You may be sick and all that. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Ain't nothing that Yahweh can't heal. Amen. Amen. Ain't nothing that Yahweh can't do. Yes, All you have to do is continue to strive faithfully, Amen. lawfully, Amen. and Yahweh will do the rest. Amen. 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 Let's read. Look, look not every man on his own thing, uh -huh. but every man also on the things of others. We got to make sure we're looking on one another. Amen. 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 Some may not have what, what you have. Yeah. That's our job. That's why we have jobs, too, Amen. to look on the needs of others. Yeah. You may not have food, but okay, I, if I have money, here's some money so you can get you some food. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Y'all, you don't have electri uh, enough for your electricity bill? Here you go. Amen. Amen. We're there to help one another. We, but you don't waste your money, though. Amen. Go out wasting your money. Amen. Want to eat all the time. Hallelujah. And you know you ain't got that much. Amen. Amen. Now the church come up slacking. Hallelujah. Because you want to eat it all up. Amen. Not, not spending your mo money wisely <laughs> on the necessity things that you really need. Amen. You want to spend it on junk. Amen. Amen. Me and my wife, we don't waste our money. We have five kids. We can't waste our money. Amen. Kids need to eat. Kids need clothes. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 I can care less about the Wi-Fi and the internet and all that. Yeah. Especially when it comes down to the church house, of, house of Yahweh. Yeah. I'll give up something. Amen. Yeah. I'm not going to rob God because I, I want my internet or my, my, my Netflix. Oh, Amen. Yeah. Something's going to go and it's not going to be Yahweh. It's going to be something that I, 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 I deem necessary for me. Amen. A, a pleasure thing for me. Amen. 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 Yahweh wants us to take care of him. Yeah. Then we have our bills. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Then you're going to like, well, I ain't got that much. And then Yahweh turn around because you bless him first. Yeah. Yeah. Then you look in your bank account and it's like, what? where's that money come from? Yeah. Uh -huh. I've had it done before. Amen. You look at a positive. He ain't got no job. Amen. But Yahweh still provided for him. Amen. He still has his money. Hallelujah. So we are without excuse. Amen. Amen. Let's read. Let this mind be in you. Let this mind be in you. Which was also in the Messiah Yeshua. Uh-huh. Who being in the form of God, yes, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Why? Because he was Yahweh in the flesh. Amen. That's why he, he thought it not robbery. Amen. When they say, I am he, they were, that was it for them, the Pharisees. Amen. They say, he said, I am the Messiah. That was it for them. Lost all control for themselves. Now they want to kill him. Amen. They want to kill him because he's telling them the truth. Amen. We come into Yahweh's house. Yahshua is the chief cornerstone in this place. Hallelujah. The word of Yahweh is him. He is the word. Hallelujah. The, word, the book is written of him. The book is written of him. Amen. We have to abide in him, which means abide in the word. Hallelujah. We can't let go of the word. There was just... Tiptoeing in here. Amen. Talking to some, then leaving, talking to somebody else. He's just playing games with everybody. Amen. Every last one of us. Amen. Satan has something for you. Amen. Something for you. Amen. But we can't listen to him. He don't love us in any way, shape, or form. Amen. 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 The world is, is so we're surrounded by pleasure. We got to let go of it, every bit of it, every bit of it, doing things in the dark that you shouldn't be doing. Yahweh knows. He knows what you're truly staying up late for. Can't go to sleep. Don't go to sleep. Amen. Hallelujah. Then you have a hard time waking up for church. Amen. Struggling to get up. Amen. Because you want to stay up to 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. Amen. Knowing that church starts at 10. Amen. 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 That's 
That's the way I used to think. Amen. Amen. I'll be okay. I'm going to stay up, play my games till about three or four. I'll be all right. Church coming. <laughs> Got to be at work at six. Now I'm struggling to get up. Oh, I hit the snooze button. Uh, I, just a couple more minutes. Like that's going to do any good. I'm still going to be just as tired as I was 10 minutes ago. Yeah, I think I'm going to call in. <clears throat> Let me work on my voice real quick. <clears throat> Let me get this down. <clears throat> Make it really sound like I'm sick. I used to do all that. Amen. Amen. I didn't last too long. Amen. I was the first to go on them jobs. Amen. Amen. That's, I mean, that's good to hear, John, that you, you Amen. Know that from your, your, your boss saying that. That's something that we never heard in your testimony. Amen. That let us know that you're really working. Amen. Amen. That's why we testify. Amen. If you don't have a testimony like that, I mean, you ain't working. Amen. You got to maintain good work. We, we've heard it before. Time will tell. What the Spirit say, time will tell. We hear your testimony, but time will tell. Amen. Got that pattern about yourself. And saints, saints no. Chasing up the job. <laughs> yes. We got a family. We can't be looking at them kid jobs. Amen. Got some need something that's going to provide for them. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't need my wife to wake me up in the morning. Not at she, all. She's been gone. Amen. So if she was waking me up, that means I wouldn't be showing up for a whole week. <laughs> If she was my alarm clock, that means I hadn't been going to work. Or I've been really late. <laughs> really late. Like, at like 12. <laughs> I'm showing up at lunchtime. But the Spirit had taught me how to be a man. Amen. I don't need my wife to be here to, to, to walk up right. Hallelujah. I, I'm here for salvation. My wife don't need me to be down there to go to church. Amen. I don't need her to be down here for me to go to church, show up at church. Amen. Amen. Be on time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's, that's, that's embedded in me. I was doing this before I got married. Amen. It started as when I was a deacon. Spirit had to shape me. Amen. How to be a true minister in this way. How to be a true brother in this way. If you love Yahweh, you're going to keep his commandments. Amen. That's just the bottom line. Amen. Not if you love your wife, you're going to keep his commandments. Not if you love your husband, you're going to keep his commandments. No, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Amen. Regardless of what's going on, you're going to keep his commandments. Hallelujah. It said, let this mind be in you that was also in the Yahshua, the Messiah. Amen. We got to have that same mind. Amen. Now, he was get, willing to give himself for the church. We have to have the same mind, no matter what the Spirit's calling for. Amen. A sacrifice that is calling for, a financial sacrifice for you, that you know it's going to hurt you. That's a sacrifice. Spirit often tells us what a sacrifice really is. Something that's going to hurt. Financially, it's going to hurt. Amen. We got saints of Mexico. Paul's going to Mexico. He needs funds. Amen. They need funds down there. Amen. 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 Right. And where are you going to get these funds from? Amen. The church. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's all written for our learning. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you, Hallelujah. 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 But we got to have that same mind. Amen. Yeah. Let's read. But made himself of no reputation uh -huh. and took upon him in the form of a servant. Yes. And was made in the likeness of men. Yes. And being found in fashion as a man, humbled himself. He humbled himself. And became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. You know the spirit wants us to die. Amen. Yeah. He wants us to die yeah. from this world. Wants us to die, be dead yeah. from ourselves yeah. too. Amen. Amen. We got to make sure we're, we're dead as well. Amen. Amen. Stop wanting everything. Amen. Be content with things that you do have. Amen. That's what I learned in this way, what I've been shown by the examples we have. Amen. 
Learn to wait on God. Amen. Patiently wait on him. Amen. Like, you know, we got instant coffee and all that. Instant oatmeal. That's how we want to be. Instant saints. Amen. We want it right now. Amen. I don't want to wait. You know, when you go to the DMV and you don't go early enough, you be there all day long. And you are 100 and <laughs> 150 what number? Oh, yeah. You look at everybody, all these nationalities in here, and you have that guy that's at the counter, don't speak English. They have to keep going on. And, and you're just like, I wish they'd just hurry up. If he don't come on, you know, you in Walmart, that line, when they got that coupons and stuff. They, they pull out a book, look like this, and they going through it. Nah, yeah, yeah, I think it was that. Oh, no, no, no. And you got one item. And they closed down all the speed, the, 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 the self-checkouts. There was only like two or three uh, cashiers there. And you got to wait. Amen. Amen. Say, we got to wait on God. He don't, he, yeah, he going to keep you from an accident. it been a lot of times he kept me. Amen. That light turned green. I don't automatically go. All them times I had to, I drop something, I pick it up, there comes a semi. Right through the red light. I said, that could have been me. And I'm looking at make sure the light's green. Oh, it says green. It looks green. But I just don't go. Something just keeps me back. I seen a whole family flip over. They were going to, uh, some lady was taking they, these kids to a cheerleader thing. And I was coming back from my job, and they, and this car turned, and they turned. They were going straight fast. The car hit them. Boom, they flipped right in front of me. I was thankful for his mercy. Amen. I said, I'm thankful I was right at the time. I didn't get done arguing with my wife and stuff. Amen. Treating my kids wrong. Amen. Amen. Say, that could have been me. Amen. Could have been my family in that car. Amen. Many times. Amen. 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 But it's something about Yahweh. Who, why, why, he does, why does he love us so much? Amen. Even when we just as wrong, why does he love us so much? Amen. Even when I deserve death. Amen. Amen. Why does he keep it from me? Hallelujah. Amen. When I found myself unworthy, and I still do. Amen. But He still allowed me to walk into His house and hear these precious words that we do here. Words that changed our life, inside and out. Amen. Amen. Let's read. Therefore, Yahweh also has highly exalted Him, mm -hmm. given Him a name which is above every. His name, name is above every name. Above every name that this world can give him. Amen. But the name that Yahweh gave is above every name. Amen. Yes. That at the name of Yeshua, every knee shall, should bow. Uh-huh. Of things in heaven. Yes. And things in earth. Uh-huh. And things under the earth. Yes. Every knee's going to bow. Amen. Amen. Every knee's going to bow when he step on the cloud. Amen. They're going to see him as he is. Amen. And they're going to wish to God that they've been holy. Yes. They're going to wish to God that they've been clean. They're going to wish to God that they wasn't a sinner that day. Amen. Amen. They're going to wish to God that they were clean to his word. Hallelujah. When he's spoken unto them. Hallelujah. They would wish to God they would have loved their wife. Amen. Love their children. Amen. Love their husband. Yes. It's going to be too late. Amen. 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 If you didn't reverence your husband, guess what? On that day. You're going to wish to God you did. Amen. Hallelujah. These books are going to be open from the same thing. Amen. You're going to be judged out of. Yes. Yes. He's taking record of everything yes. that we do. Amen. 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 Taking record of everything. Yes. Why you didn't come to church that day? Yes. 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 Yeah, her Cubs testimony. How she was tired and her husband asked her to <laughs> make him some cookies. Devil, yeah, of course the devil going to say something. Amen. I'm tired. Amen. He didn't work today. I did. Amen. He don't work on Saturday. I do. 
Amen. Amen. You don't stay up and, walk and, and take care of the clothes and the kids and all that. I do. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 But at times, even in times, I do help my wife. Amen. I, I, I wash the dishes. Amen. I may go in there and sweep. Amen. I may get in there and help her fold the clothes. Amen. But if I don't do it, she ain't mad at me. Amen. 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 She's a chase keeper at home. Amen. Amen. I go, I'll get up and go to work. Go and make the money and all that so that we can have. But my job don't start there. Take time out with my kids. Take time out with my wife. Amen. And my, my hours are always changing. Depending on where I have to drive to. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Amen. But sometimes my wife will have mercy on me. Amen. Say, I know you're tired. I'll do this. I'll do that. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. My wife has my shirts ready. Before she went out of town, she made sure my, my shirts were dry clean. Amen. I had all my undershirts I needed. Amen. Amen. I had socks. I had underwear. All that were clean. Yes. House was clean and all that. Amen. Still is. Amen. Amen. I'm not gonna wait till she get home. Uh, yeah, she cleaned up after me. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Keep the house clean. Amen. On my part, Paul's like, I, I, he said, I may put up my shoes, but if I don't, mother, why she don't say nothing? Amen. She just grab them and put them up. That's the example we have. That's the example we have to follow. Amen. That's why they said I'm like that. Amen. That's the foundation Amen. that is laid Amen. for every wife and every husband. Yes, Lord, right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's read. And that every tongue should confess that Yeshua the Messiah is Lord uh -huh. to the glory of Yahweh the Father. Yes. Therefore, my beloved, uh -huh. as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but, not, but now much more in my absence. Paul was going away. He's going away. Yeah. Amen. He said that you have always obeyed, not in my presence only, but in much more in my absence. Yes. Amen. We got to obey more and much in his absence. Yes. Amen. Amen. We got to let him know that we strong. Hallelujah. That we taught well in his way. Amen. That his labor is not in vain. Hallelujah. 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 Because the devil going to come. Yes. Every time yes. the man of God leaves, the devil comes. Amen. He'll take some out here, take some out there. Yeah. Week later, that, that one's not showing up as much. Yeah. They're not singing as much. Amen. They're testifying as much. Yeah. Amen. Amen. They they quiet. Yeah. We're going for you quiet. Amen. Amen. But we don't preach to get you all in the spirit and all that. We preach. We we know you're hearing it. Amen. Amen. I'm in here to praise Yahweh. Hallelujah. I don't, I don't, it don't matter to me how many people are here. Amen. Amen. Service still going to go on. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I don't care if it's just babies in this way. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I'll get up here with a song too. Yes. Amen. Amen. Wow, because my dad did it. Yes. Amen. Amen. Nothing stopped him. Amen. Got that colostomy bag on and everything. Yes. Still praising Yahweh. Amen. I'm looking at my little old illness. I got a headache. Well, I still got to go to church. Even though the devil said I, I don't, he don't want me to. Uh, look how bad your head hurt. I'm looking at Elder Cruz. He walking in here. Amen. Got Parkinson's and all that. Amen. And here I am with a, with, with, uh, my eyes just keep watering. All right, I got a little sniffle. Amen. I said, if the mothers can walk in here with pain, the pain that I have ain't nothing compared to what they're going through. Amen. Hallelujah. Elder's still pushing his way here. Still pressing his way here. They beat me here. Amen. Amen. He's an elder. We got to honor them. Amen. Take care of them. Amen. Check on them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Got to check on our elders in this way. Amen. The ones who don't have husbands. and Amen. amen. The widows. 
be there for even Mother Effie and, and, and Mother Peggy down there. Yeah. I was like, I got to make sure I'm calling them, yeah. checking on them. Because yeah. Mother Peggy been diagnosed with lung cancer. Yeah. We don't know how much longer she has. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got to take care of one another in this way. Yeah. The love of Yahweh. Hallelujah. Love no, works no ill to his neighbor. Yeah. Amen. Don't let the devil separate you Amen. from any, anybody in this way. Amen. Don't let nobody, don't let nothing separate you Hallelujah. from the love of the Messiah. What if Yahweh cut you off just like you cut that person off? Cut him off just like you had no limit. You got a limit, Yahweh got a limit. What if he did the same thing? There's a song that the soul seekers, sing, uh, they sing. What would you do if the Lord turned it back on you, turned his back on you? His mama put them, all, put them out and all that because she told him not to go to the prom and all that kind of stuff. Disobedient, kicked him out for three days and all that. He didn't hear from his mom. Amen. His mom ended up having mercy on him. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Said, what would you do if Yahweh turned his back on you? Yeah. You did the same thing that you're doing to that person. Yeah. He turned it back on you. Amen. Did the same thing for you. Yeah. But he don't do us like that. Yeah. Amen. He hasn't done nothing like that. Yeah. Even, though, when, even when Yahshua knew that they were just coming out to be healed, yeah. coming out to be fed. Yeah. Amen. He still didn't turn his back on them. He still preached the word, gave them the word. Told them what they needed to do if they decided to leave and give up. It was on them. He said, my sheep will hear my voice. Amen. If we call, call ourselves his sheep, Hallelujah. we're going to hear what Yahweh has to say. Amen. No matter who it comes from. Amen. Amen. Also, he even listens to us. He said, I know when the Spirit's speaking through you, Amen. and I, I know when men is speaking. Amen. Amen. That's why we got to take heed to what one another say. Amen. 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 Don't put your guard up so fast. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen to what they have to say. Amen. They coming to you with an issue. Hallelujah. Don't don't put your guard up. Amen. Amen. Take heed to what they're about to say. What if Paul did that? Put his God. And at times he's had. I don't want to hear it. Especially if it's junk. I don't want to hear it. Give it to Yahweh. Talk to him. Amen. But when we when we want to talk, he's there. Mother Karen wanna you want to talk, she's there. She listens to you. Then she'll give you wise counsel. Never her feelings. Never his feelings. Amen. Gives you the counsel that you really need. Amen. And every time I leaned on it, it always worked out. Always, always works. Yes, always works. Even when it comes to me counseling y'all. Apostle, yes. this is the counsel I gave. Yes. Well, that's not right. Go back and change it. Yes. Now go back and change it. Amen. Amen. You don't want to say it like this? Say it like this. Don't say it like that because you may offend them. Say it like this. Put it this way. Amen. Amen. I don't want to leave nobody wrong. Amen. I don't want to give you nothing wrong that's going to offend you and cause you to leave this place. Amen. Let's read. Work out your own salvation. Work out your own salvation. That's what we got to do. Amen. Work at our own salvation. Hallelujah. Stop leaning on the righteous ones that are doing this thing already. Get your own salvation. Get your own works. Amen. Stop leaning on what Apostle and Mother Washington are doing. You get your own. Just follow what they're doing. Amen. Take what they're showing you and you do it. Amen. You perform it. Because you don't give an account for yourself. Anyway. Amen. 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 You gotta work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Amen. Where's your fear and trembling going? Amen. Amen. Who do you fear more, man or Yahweh? Yahweh. Your house or Yahweh? Yahweh. 
Because you're going to have to lift the standard inside and outside of the church. Got to have a good report in and out. I'm not, there, I'm not out there running with my friends and stuff. I may run into them at the stores, but I, there's no desire to be with them no more. Amen. I know once they're gone, they're going back to their life. Yeah. I'm going back to live holy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going back to where Yahweh had chose me to be in. Amen. I'm leaving to do the right thing. Amen. I'm there to be a light. Even in the store, I'm, I'm a light. Hallelujah. I'm going to go home, let me change real quick, then go to the store. Now, I'm going to go to the store in my suit if I leave here. I want to be a light to the world. Yes. Oh, you just got out of church? Yes, sir. Oh, what was the word about? Not sinning. Amen. Being holy. Yes. Being perfect. Yes. You open up doors that way. Yes. But I ain't going to be doing no lawn service in my suit. Amen. 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 There's a difference. Amen. <laughs> Brother Chris used to have that bad. We had the lawn service. He's still in his suit and all that. Trying to be that ho holier than thou, brother. <laughs> trying, to trying to condemn us doing the same. Not, do not joining him and wearing our suits, too. <laughs> oh, brother, I'm holy, too. <laughs> I'm holy, too, in my regular clothes. <laughs> but these, this suit going to last me a lot longer. Amen. Amen. Decent and in order. And I'm so proud of Davion. Dick and Jenkins. So proud of him. He don't know how much strength he, he gives me. The way Yahweh is using him is, is, is remarkable. It's amazing. And every young brother got to got to take care, take hold of his coattail. Amen. He's in the word. Amen. Fellowshipping. Hallelujah. Amen. He ain't letting nothing stop him. He don't have his wife. Amen. Amen. But a lot of y'all do. Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But he's more strong than some yes. that have theirs. Yes. 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 He's more in the word than some that do have their wife. Amen. Amen. That's why he's taking heed to the council. He's doing everything Amen. that the apostles telling him to do. He's doing yes. just that. Hallelujah. You got to do just that. Everything that the Spirit is giving unto you, you got to cross your eyes, you got to cross your T's, dot your eyes, and do exactly, exactly what he say. Amen. Even in Michael, I'm, I'm starting to see a change in him. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Even in this dark hour, he's still seeking counsel. Amen. 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 He said, uh, Pastor, I want to let you know, is it okay if I, I don't? come to service on Thursday. I said, well, let me seek somebody higher than me. Yes. Amen. I'm not going to say yes and then turn around. I've, I've done it. I say yes and then I get in trouble. Amen. I ain't doing that again. Amen. I ain't doing that again. Yes. Fool me once, shame on me. Yes. Shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Amen. I ain't doing that. Amen. I ain't getting in trouble no more. Amen. I don't like that feeling. Amen. And then the Spirit tell me, you should have sought counsel on that. You should have, you should have called them. Yes. And I did it, and then I ended up getting in trouble. Yes, Lord. Amen? Amen. Amen. So I said, no, let me, let me seek counsel first. Yes, yes. And I'll see what the man of God said. And he said, this time, it's okay. You have a blessing in it. Hallelujah. Amen? Hallelujah. Since your family been through so much yes, these past couple weeks. Yes, Amen? Amen. Amen? See, we may think it's wrong to do. But there's somebody wiser than us. To show mercy. That's what we're talking about, having bowels of mercy. Amen. Got to learn how to be merciful. You don't know what that person is going through. You don't know what, what situation they're put in. Amen. Amen. Well, we have to take on the love of the Messiah. Hallelujah. Be merciful, even as your Father in heaven, which is merciful. Amen. We want to cut everybody down. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. You ain't helping nobody like that. Amen. Amen. Sometimes you just have to close your mouth. Okay? Let, give it to Yahweh. Amen. And if Yahweh is in it, it's going to work out. If Yahweh's not in it, it's not going to work out. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 
You got to pick and choose your battles. Amen. You got to choose your battles wisely. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's read. For it is Yahweh which works in you both uh -huh. to will and to do his, his good pleasure. It, it's Yahweh that worketh. Yeah. Amen. Yahweh's Amen. the one who's doing the work. Yeah. But he needs your part too. Yeah. Yeah. It's something we have to do. Hallelujah. He could just snap his finger and let it happen. Amen. My brother was talking about the other day. He could just do that, but he's not going to do it. So what you going to learn out of it? Amen. Amen. You're going to learn nothing from it. Amen. If you never went through no trials and tribulations, Amen. you ain't going to be strong. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got to learn how to go through our trials and tribulations the right way. Amen. I'm learning everything, learning in this situation I'm in. Amen. How to glorify <laughs> Yahweh. Give him all the glory because he deserves it. Yes, he does. Amen. I Amen. don't blame him for anything that I don't have in his way. Amen. I blame it on the choices that I made. Amen. When things get taken away, I, I blame it on the choices that I made. Amen. 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 Let's read. Do all things without murmuring and disputing. See, we got to do all things without complaining. Amen. Without arguments. It said, do all things without complaining and arguing about it. Amen. Amen. You got you to gotta put away all that. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Look who we labor among. Amen. Know that person what you labor among. Hallelujah. Know them. Amen. Amen. They're coming with you with a situation. You got to be humble. Yes, right. Amen. You got to put the devil on the foot. Because yes, right. he's coming. Yes, yes. Devil's coming. Amen. Yes, he's seeking whom he may devour. Yes. And all them that left, they took heed to that spirit. Amen. They took heed to what the devil had to say. Couldn't love their wife like the, the, the spirit told them to do. Oh, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But I know that the only way my marriage is put, being put together is because of the word. Amen. Amen. The only way I'm being put together is because of the word. See, I want to find myself even complaining at my job. Oh, yeah. People don't want to work. Uh -huh. They hire temps. They don't want to work. They sit in the break room. <laughs> I'm passing by, and I'm all sweating and all that. <laughs> Just unloaded like three trucks. Because oh, sometimes we have washing dryers that come in, 125, that we have to, they all face in the front. So one person has to be in the trailer, turn them all the way to their back so they can clamp them right. And you got to go through the whole line, washers and dryers. Amen. Y'all come back sweating, arms hurting and stuff. They kicking back in the AC. They say, uh, oh, that was, that was a lot of work we did today, huh? <laughs> and I have to walk out. <laughs> Lord knows I got to walk out of this place. I got to walk out this break room. He said, that's some trucks we unloaded, didn't we? Yeah, that's why I want to say we, me. You better turn that W upside down and make it me. Yeah. But I have to remember the word. Do it, I'll do all things without murmuring and disputing. Amen. I want to argue about it. Amen. I want to go talk to the boss about this. Hey, you know them tips you got? No good. No good. Yeah, Mr. Jones, Mr. Jones. No good. That's all I'm going to say, that one word, no good. I just got two words for you, boss, no good. Yeah, come here, come here. Look, I even took a video of it. Look, see? Uh, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm not lying, look. No, I'll let them other co-workers do it. Amen, I'll let them, they, they speak on how I feel. They go and take care of all that. Yahweh takes care of all that for me. I don't say a word, but they go in there and tell the boss the same thing I, well, I want to say. Amen. Amen. Yeah, he fights my battle. Amen. Amen. I got a raise because they wouldn't complain that I wasn't getting, uh, I'm working so hard that I'm not getting what I get paid. So they wouldn't told, told on me <laughs> for that. Hallelujah. Thank you, I was like, I ain't got to say nothing. Amen. Yahweh, let us be ventriloquists. Uh, you throw your voice at somebody, they go speak for you. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. They said, Bobby need to be out this warehouse. He need to be driving. Amen. He ain't getting no hours. I'm just sitting back. Thank you, Lord. That song, you, this is how you fight my battle. I, I mean, I know all about it. He fights them. I ain't got to do no work. He just fight them. Amen. 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 I ain't even got to say nothing. I do everything without murmuring and disputing and, and fighting about it. Amen. That's what he want me to say to you, too. Amen. I got many things I want to say. Many things I want to argue about. Amen. But I have to, I can't. I got to hold my tongue. Amen. It's a fire, remember, a world of iniquity. Oh, yeah. I want to tear you down with these words. Oh, yeah. Everything I feel want to come out. Yeah. I want to get it off my chest. Oh, yeah. But you know what? I look up and give it to Yahweh. Oh, yeah. Yahweh, you know what you're doing. Amen. You know what you're doing for me. Hallelujah. Because you know, if, I, if, I, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be able to go through this situation. Amen. I wouldn't know how to keep my tongue. Amen. Keep my words in my mind. Hallelujah. Keep this mind right. Amen. Keep this heart right. I want it to be fixed on him. Amen. Amen. I want my heart to be fixed. I want my way, my, my past to be straightened out. Because there's some crooked places I could go to. Amen. 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 Some cuss words I want to say. I want to say. Want to. But they don't come out. Amen. Amen. <laughs> the, the, the hand want to do things that, that is not holy. I want to show you a sign and let you know how I really feel. But, you know, it turns to a wave, amen. I just got to wave my hand. Like Lee Williams say, just wave my hand. That just, that's all you got to do. That's all you can do at times. Just, that's it. Just walk away. Amen. Amen. But I do thank Yahweh for the teaching. I thank Yahweh for the word that he's given unto me to say this morning. Hallelujah. Evangelist. At this time, let us all please stand and receive our beloved evangelist children's by saying, praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh, saints. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh, praise Yahweh again. Praise Yahweh. Amen. All right, y'all may be seated. Amen. Truly, I thank Yahweh for the words that came forth from our beloved uh, Pastor Riddle. Yeah. Amen. Truly, they were on time. Amen. Every time. Amen. Because the word of God is always on time. Right. Amen. Amen. And that's where we get our, that's the spirit that's in this place. Amen. Thank you, Yahweh, for teacher Picon, uh, speaking to the saints of Mexico. Amen. Amen. I would say a, a man's gift to make room for him. Amen. Just thanking Yahweh for the fivefold ministry that we have in this place. Amen. Amen. The Apostle Washington, the man of God that Yahweh called in this generation. Amen. Amen. To uh, bring us the good tidings of salvation. Amen. Amen. The whole reason that we're here today. Amen. And just. I want to thank Yahweh for all the men of God, all the apostles, amen, all the uh, prophets, all the evangelists, pastors, and the teachers that we have, amen, that Yahweh is given for the perfecting of the saints, amen, amen, for the work of the ministry, amen, for the edifying of the body of the Messiah, till we all come, become into a perfect church, amen, amen, without spot, wrinkle, and blemish, Hallelujah. That's, the, that's the goal, amen, amen, in, in this place is to Remove every spot and every wrinkle, amen. amen, and every blemish that we have on our soul, Hallelujah. that we have in our ways, right. amen. Some of us have blemishes in our ways, yeah. blemishes in our, in our actions, Hallelujah. wrinkles in the way we think, yeah. Yeah. amen, spots in how we act, yeah. amen, that we need to clean ourselves from, Hallelujah. amen, amen, and the only place that you could get clean is the church, yeah. Yeah. amen, yeah. but it can't just be any church. There's plenty of churches out there. Yeah. Amen. Uh, uh, there's uh, Lubbock has 601. Uh -huh. Amen. 600 of them are wrong. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, I said 600 of them are wrong. Yeah. Amen. Now, the world don't like to hear us speak like that. Uh -huh. They think that we're beside ourselves. Uh -huh. Amen. But when we compare them to what the word says and what they believe, it doesn't match up. That's right. That's right. You say, do you believe you can be perfect? 600 of them will say no. And that enough. That enough. 
push them outside the will of Yahweh. Amen. Just that alone. No. Just any, any church. I don't care which one. Go across the street. Anyone. Amen. And ask them. You believe Matthew 5, 48? I believe, the word, I believe it, but I don't believe you can do it. If it's in there, I believe it. But they don't believe that you can do it. Amen. Amen. Right. And truly, I thank Yahweh for everything he's done for me in my life. Amen. And all the grace and the mercy that he's bestowed upon me over the years Amen. that I don't deserve. Amen. Amen. I know I don't deserve it. Amen. Amen. Some of y'all might not know y'all don't deserve it. Because some of y'all, you know, uh, are kind of high-minded and think, I mean, I've never left church. You know, or, but you've been backslidden in heart, though. Well, there's been a time that you were backslidden in heart. Amen. Yeah, you, you might have been here. Amen. Amen. But you weren't right sitting in here. Amen. Amen. There were some things you didn't want the word to touch on. Yes. Amen. If, and if it got close to that, all of a sudden, uh, your bowels start running. Right. Or you act like they do. Amen. All of a sudden, that little sting in your bladder become a raging pain. <laughs> or you act like it do. All of a sudden, you need to go to the back for some reason. Amen. 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 All of a sudden, you got uh, something important in your car that you have forgotten. Yeah. Amen. All of a sudden, oh, you forgot your tithing. You didn't plan on paying your tithing until the Spirit got on that. Right. On something that you didn't like. All of a sudden, you remember you didn't give your offering. Uh -huh. And now you, now you got to run to United. <laughs> Amen. Right. To go get that tithing. Uh -huh. Amen. Just looking for a reason to escape. Amen. Amen. Because the word of God here is quick and powerful. Oh, yeah. Amen. And it's sharper than any two-edged sword. Amen. And anything that you're thinking and planning, it will rip it to shreds. Oh, yeah. Amen. Because Yahweh demands that we be holy. He commands the light to shine out of darkness. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Commands it. Amen. We're going to call your attention to the book of First Peter, chapter 5. Yes, sir. Amen. Thank you, Yahweh, for the work going on in Mexico. Oh, yeah. Amen. You know, uh, I've always wanted to see the world. I never thought I was going to see it this way, Amen, you know, in the will of God. Hallelujah. You know, I thought I was going to be out there partying and, right. you know, make a rich friend somewhere. I just wanted to traipse the world with me, uh -huh. take me with them, uh -huh. or take me with it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And I, that, that, you know, but I never considered uh, that Yahweh would send me into uh, the world. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Amen. Uh -huh. and, I'm, and I'm so thankful for that. Amen. Amen. I've been a place I've never been before. Uh -huh. I never, I never, I Kansas City, huh? I'd have never been out there. I'd have never went. Amen. 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 If it wasn't for the Spirit of Yahweh. Amen. 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 Make that part of Mexico. I'd have never seen it. Amen. If it wasn't for the Spirit of Yahweh. Some of the saints been in Jamaica, Africa, Canada. Amen. Yeah. I thank Yahweh for this place. Amen. And for the love that the apostle has for the people of the world. Amen. And the same that Yahweh has, because it's really Yahweh. Yahweh's the one that's given every man an opportunity to hear the, the truth. Amen. 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 But First Peter 5. First Peter 5 and 1. Uh -huh. It was written. It's written in the book. The elders which are among you, I exhort. Now we want to thank Yahweh for the elders that are among us. Amen. Amen. Elder Cruz is one of our elders. Yes. Amen. Probably the eldest elder. In the church. Amen. Amen. We got to exhort him. Amen. You know, we, uh, he, he's a man of, that we must respect. Amen. Amen. Uh, 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 like a bishop, almost. Yeah. Amen. He's an elder. He gets that kind of respect. Yeah. Amen. He's a man, he's a man of God that's given up everything, yeah. as we all have. Yeah. Amen. He's given up his house, uh -huh. his, 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 his children. He hasn't given them up. He still, you know, he still talks to them and still sees them. Amen. But he's not close to him Amen. as he was. He used to be down the street. Amen. Amen. Now he's 400 miles away from him. Amen. Amen. But he did all this to serve this God. Amen. Amen. So him and all the elders, not just the elders, the bishops as well, we exhort. Amen. Uh huh. Read. Who, who am also am elder. Now, I'm not an elder yet. Amen. Amen. 15, 20 more years maybe. But I thank Yahweh that you know, this was Peter talking, and Peter was an elder at this time. Amen. Read. Yes. And a witness of the suffering of the Messiah. And he was a witness of the suffering of the Messiah. 
and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Don't you know that we all want to be partakers of the glory that shall be revealed? Amen. We want to be partakers of that glory that shall be revealed. How beautiful would it be if the Lord stepped out the clouds and we all start floating? Amen. How beautiful would that be? Very. You look and your wife is floating. You look and your, and your, and your, your son is floating. Your daughter is floating. In-laws are floating. Hey Amen. Everybody changing in a moment in the twinkle of an eye. Even little Ryan back there changing in a moment. And wouldn't that be beautiful? Amen. Little Tabby changing in a moment. And twinkling of an eye. She's innocent. She's going to make it. Yeah. If anybody got hope, she do. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, we, Yahweh wants us to be partakers of that glory. Yeah. Amen. He wants us to be partakers. That's why we're here. That's why he don't give us rest. Yeah. That's why you don't come to the church and get away with nothing. That's why you think the preaching is always hard on you. Amen. Is the preaching hard on you? That's because you're being hard on the spirit. Amen. Amen. You're, you're being hard with your heart. Amen. Amen. Soften your heart. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Right. And the spirit will be soft with you. If you become obedient. Amen. Then you won't get no whooping. Whichever, who, who got a whooping for doing something good? Anybody. You helped the lady cross the street and got arrested. Anybody? You found a wallet, you gave it back, and they threw you in jail. Anybody? Amen? No, nobody's ever got in trouble for doing right. Amen. There's no law against doing the right thing. Amen? Amen. But we all want to be partakers of the glory that shall be revealed. Amen. Two. Feed the flock of Yahweh, which what? is among you. Feed the flock of Yahweh. It said feed the flock. You know, we're here to feed the flock. Amen. Bishop, you charge to feed the flock. Amen. That's why uh, Teacher Picard was back there. He got a charge. He's a teacher of the church. Amen. He's charged to teach, to, to feed the flock. Amen. Amen. He was the only one here that could feed the flock today. Amen. Sometimes uh, Pastor Riddle going to have to feed the flock in Mexico too. Amen. Amen. They need to hear your preaching. They ain't never witnessed the, the power that you got. The knowledge that Yahweh has given you. The words that you say that are different than what we say. Everybody has their own proper gift of God. Amen. Amen. They never heard it. So there's going to be time that you're going to be back there. Amen. Because Pastor wants us to preach uh, to the Church of Mexico City every church service. Even though he's in Mexico. Because um, while we're here, the Saints of Pecula are going to be listening while he's in Mexico City. And when he goes to Mexico, when he goes to Pecula, the Saints of Mexico City are going to be listening. Amen. So we got to always have continue to feed them. Amen. Amen. So don't get weary. Don't get tired. Hallelujah. Don't start up uh, me again. You again. <laughs> Amen. There used to be a whole bunch of bishops in here. Now there's only three. Amen. <laughs> you won't get to preach at least twice a week sometimes. Amen. Maybe even three times. Amen. Amen. That's why we got to concentrate ourselves. Amen. Start getting on our book. Amen. Start reading. Amen. Amen. Start doing some spiritual things. Start meditating on the Lord. Amen. Stay with your fast. Don't get away from your fast. Bishops, don't get away from your fast. Amen. Amen. Yeah, uh, we know every time Apostle Lee, the, 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 the devil come right away. Amen. He kick up with you, he kick up with me. Amen. All of a sudden, you want to make a crazy decision that you ain't never, you wouldn't have done. I've been there. Amen. So I'm speaking from experience. I know I've, all of a sudden I want to do something I shouldn't be doing. Amen. All of a sudden you want to do something you shouldn't be doing. Amen. All of a sudden uh, uh, something erupts and next thing you know you're arguing and almost fighting and now you got to call somebody. Amen. Amen. Not this time. Amen. We ain't going to happen this time. Amen. Amen. This time we're going to do the right thing. Amen. 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 It's time we're going to strengthen ourselves. We're going to stay with our fans. Amen. We're going to stay on our concentrations. Hallelujah. We're going to stay with our uh, uh, alms that we give to our Father Yahweh. Amen. We're going to keep our foot when we come in here. We're going to let our moderation be known to all the men out there and women. That Yahweh's day is at hand. He's coming. Amen. Read. It said, feed the flock of Yahweh, which is among you. Taking the oversight thereof. You know, sometimes an uh, uh, elder come in and he takes the oversight. Amen. He comes and goes, y'all need to be doing this and not be and be doing that. We got to listen to him. Yes, right. Amen. Yes. 
when it's in the spirit, we got to listen to him. Amen. Sometimes he comes, he gives me instructions. I got to listen to him. Amen. He's an elder in his way. He's, he's a wise man, believe it or not. Amen. If you ever get to talk to him, you'll figure out that he is. Oh, yeah. Amen. You don't get to live long by <laughs> not being, well, I mean, you can because there are what uh, people out there that are foolish in their old age just because of Yahweh's mercy. Amen. Amen. That should have been dead, but Yahweh's mercy still gave him another breath. Amen. Amen. But he's not one of those. He's a wise man. Amen. And we got to remember him. Amen. You know, remember that he takes his medicine sometimes here. Make sure he got something that he's comfortable. Yeah. If he needs something to drink, then make sure he has it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I ain't talking about you that's 32 years old and ain't doing nothing over there. I'm talking about the elder. Yeah. You got to make sure that he's okay. Amen. He, amen. That's right. But it said, take the old, taking the oversight thereof. Not by constraint. Don't you know, as bishops, you got to take the oversight, not by constraint. Amen. Hey man, teacher Picon didn't fight me. Like, oh, I ain't doing it. Why I got to do it? We went out there. That's just two of y'all. Well, we can't speak Spanish. That's a gift that you've been given. Amen. Hey we're just learning it. You, you already know it. Hey Amen. And you had some help. You had Mother Connie, your family member, Mother Mary. Hey Amen. To help you on your way. Hey Amen. Hey Amen. But you should, we shouldn't take the oversight with constraint. Everything is being forced on you. You feel like you're forcing, you know. But you have something you willingly want to have, should have to want to do. Amen. Amen. Right. Read. Not by constraint. Uh huh. But will, but willingly. Uh huh. Not for filthy profit, but of a ready mind. Not because you're gonna get something out of it. Right. You know, if I if I if I preach the metro for three times, they take me out to eat. <laughs> Amen. So I'm gonna make sure I get my third time. Here's my third time, saints. I want to let the let, let pastor know it's going to be my third time to make sure I get my golden corral today. <laughs> Amen. No, not for filthy lucre. You know, we don't get up here and, uh, 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 um, mad at you and preach the word on you, but for somebody else. We don't use this thing for a battling ram. Amen. You mad at, you mad at, you mad at him. Amen. And you, and he mad at her. And so they come and say, hey, uh, let's go out to eat. Go out to eat. Yeah, you know, I want to tell you about my wife and what she's been talking about. So that you have something to preach about when you come to church. Uh -huh. Amen. Right. We don't do it for filthy lucre. Amen. Amen. But of a willing mind. Amen. 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 Read. Ne neither, as a, neither as being lords over Yahweh's heritage, but being examples of the, to the flock. See, it's easy to get up here and tell everybody what they ought to do. I can tell that's easy. At the job, you got people that can tell you what to do. They ain't the boss. But they say, you ain't doing that right. Yeah, they want to, they, they act like the boss, but they, you know, the boss ain't there. Hey, you need to go pick that up. Why can't you pick it up? Why do I got to be the one to go pick it up? We got the same position. Hey, Amen. You pushing that button the wrong way, it goes this way and that way. But this is the way the boss taught me. Well, the boss was already talking about. Amen. Amen. You got people that, are, that, 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 that try to help you be better you at your job. And, uh, and if you're, us, we listen. We're, you know, we're, led, we're, led, we're lambs to the slaughter. Amen. You know, if you got a good idea, well, if it works, we'll do it. Yeah. Amen. If it, as long as it's according to policy, we'll do it. Uh -huh. Amen. So now you want to tell them something. You ain't my boss. Go sit down. <laughs> go pick that up. I'm not. You go pick it up. How about we go pick it up together? <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> but for us, Amen. It says we should, we're not lords over Yahweh's inheritance. We're not here to just beat on you and tell you what right to do. We got to live a certain type of lifestyle. It's something that we have to be doing within ourselves. Amen. Amen. Or the word will have no power. Hallelujah. The word will come with no power. And then, then that, you know, we, I'm going to preach it to a funeral. Uh -huh. Amen. The apostle wants to get away from that. Amen. Amen. Yeah. It's going to get quiet sometime when the word gets hot. Amen. And oh, it's going to get quiet. Hallelujah. Even the bishop sat down sometime. Amen. And the Bible says the bishop should be more vocal. Spirit, the, the Bible says, uh, the, the Spirit said this, 
that the bishop should be more vocal. They should be the loudest ones in church. Amen. You gotta be able to hear your mouth. Amen. Amen. The way your kids hear your mouth when they don't do what you want them to do. Amen. John, to get over here. I need to talk to you. You forgot something. Amen. We raise our voice. When it comes to the when it comes to the uh, 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 the church service, you quiet. Amen. They see you clapping your hands a little bit. Amen. Ain't no wave offerings. It's just a lot of nodding. You can't hear nodding. You can't hear rocking. Amen. Amen. Well, the Bible's talking about a wave offering, but at least give one with an amen or a hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That's right. Uh, neither being lords over Yahweh's inheritance, but examples in the flock. Amen. We got to start becoming the examples. Amen. Amen. We ought to be the example. Amen. Because we are the ones that Yahweh set up for the people to see. Amen. 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 So I pray Yahweh strengthen me in the areas that I'm not that I'm weak in. Help me to be strong in that. That I may be obedient to this scripture right here. Amen. Amen. That I may be obedient to that scripture over there. That the people don't have a reason not to believe in me or or have any reason to doubt this way. Amen. That they get weak behind something that I done done. Or that I done said, or I should have said with more charity. Amen. Amen. Right. Read. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, you shall receive a crown of glory that fades not away. Amen. If you do this the right way, you're going to receive a crown of glory. Amen. A crown of glory. Amen. You know, I have, a, I have a really big imagination, right? And so I think, I try to think outside the box and things like that. And it always talks about the crown of glory and it always talks about um, crowned with stars and all that. I think about having a crown of stars. Uh -huh. The sun is a star and the sun is the, one of the smallest stars ever. Uh -huh. And it could fit a hundred earths in a million earths. A million earths will fit in the sun. And that's a small star. How big do you have to be to have a whole crown of them? You'd have to be huge. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Now, what, why am I thinking about that? Well, because I'm, you know, we can't imagine what we're going to become when Yahweh comes. Amen. 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 Space is not limited by Yahweh. Amen. 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 He, consume, he, he fills the heavens and the earth. Amen. Amen. He's everywhere. Amen. I don't care how far in the galaxy you can go, Yahweh is there. Amen. He's bigger than everything that's created. Amen. Amen. That's why it's interesting whenever you, we watch, uh, you know, some of us watch movies, a lot of movies, like Marvel movies and things like that, where you're talking about Ant-Man, on that Ant-Man movie, they went down so small that there was like a whole another world, another world uh -huh. of things that we haven't seen right. and we can't even imagine because it's so tiny and small. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But Yahweh is way bigger than that. Amen. Amen. We don't know what we're going to become. Amen. And so this is some of the hope that, that, that fuels me to do the right thing. I want to see what we're going to become if we do this right. Amen. I want to see what, what, what the thing that we can't even, it says that we, it hasn't even came into the hearts of man. It hasn't even came in our thoughts of things that he has for us. We haven't even imagined it yet, the scripture says. But the only way you're going to see that good stuff is if you do this the right way. Amen. If you deny yourself, if you overcome that wickedness that's in you, if I overcome that wickedness that's in me, Hallelujah. amen, and all of our weaknesses are different. Yeah. Some of us got a spirit that we like to talk about people yeah. in a negative way. Amen. That's a spirit. Amen. You always got to talk about somebody. Hallelujah. You find out somebody did wrong, you got to run and tell it. That's a spirit. Amen. And not a spirit of God. The Bible calls that a tail bearer. Ready to, ready to go say something to somebody about something. And we got them. Amen. Some of us fight that spirit. Some of us fight the spirit of lying. Some people fight the spirit of lying. My brother ain't the only one. That, that, that he the only one to speak about it. <laughs> but some of us, uh, somebody lied this week. Somebody, one of y'all lied this week. Amen. Oh, yeah. You're thinking about it right now. Amen. Amen. Trying to get out of something. Amen. Amen. Right. 
We got to kill those spirits. Amen. If you want to see them in peace, we're going to have to kill all those spirits. The spirit of lying, lusting, stealing, not living right, not doing right. That spirit of laziness, we got to get past that. Amen. Apostle spoke on the other day. He said, consider the ant, you sluggard. Uh-huh. Amen. Right. Now, we're always thinking about people like me and evangelists and my brother and everybody that don't want to really work. But what about you that don't want to spiritually work? Yeah. There's a spiritual work that we do in here. It ain't just physical. You got to do that part too. Yeah. But we, yeah, but we don't, we don't consider that part. Amen. You know, you just let that spirit come and rest on you and it'll just rest there. Sometimes those evil spirits can rest on you for days. Yeah. Amen. And you don't fight it. Amen. You don't fight till the word comes and you finally shake it off. Oh, let me get that spirit off me. Yeah. But three days later, it'll come and rest right back on you again. Amen. 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 Sometimes it's the spirit of lust. Amen. That, that, that befalls men sometimes. It don't matter if you're married or not. Yeah. It don't matter. It's the spirit. Amen. Amen. You married because you enjoy touching. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You want to get married because you want to touch. Amen. That means that there's something out there that you like. Uh-huh. And the devil has it to offer it to you. Oh, yeah. Let's go to Show it to you. Amen. Ooh, look, it's Vin Diesel. <laughs> uh-huh. uh-huh. Who got quiet? <laughs> <laughs> Jason Momoa. Amen. Aquaman. Uh-huh. Amen. Fandy Newton or somebody. Beyonce or somebody. Christian. Rihanna or somebody. Amen. Amen. This, and uh, those, are the, those are the ones that are unattainable. There are some people that don't wrestle with none of that. They'll take everything. There are some people like that. Amen. They wrestle with every. They're not a shape they don't like. They're not a size. They're not a color. They are non-denominational on that. <laughs> Some people fight those spirits. Amen. Sometimes that spirit of anger rests on you. Amen. And just stays. It can just stay. Amen. It just stays. Hallelujah. The spirit of emulation. Somebody, you feel like somebody done you wrong, and now you're spending your whole time on how to get them back. Amen. What you can do to get them back. You want to see something befall them. Right. You want to see something happen to them so you can feel good and feel like something like, like Yahweh fought your battle for you. Amen. He said, you don't know what spirit you are, he told them. You don't know what spirit you are. Amen. Should we call down fire? We want to call down fire. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. What if they call down fire on you? Amen. What if Yahweh called down fire on you? You wouldn't want that. You want mercy. Amen. Amen. Read. Likewise, you younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Whoa, 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 whoa. Submit yourself unto the elder. Whoa, 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 whoa. Submit yourself to, unto the other. So, likewise, you younger. Read that. Likewise, you younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Read that again. Likewise, you younger, submit yourself unto the elder. Yeah. Amen. I mean, Patricia can't be at home arguing with her mama, yeah. fighting with her. Talking about what she ain't going to do. Right. Amen. Patricia should be the first one in there washing dishes. She should be the first one in there making sure that she got something to eat. Yeah. Food is thawed out so you can eat. Yeah. Making sure it's clean in there. Right. Amen. Amen. I mean, you got kids. They can help you. Yeah. They're old enough to help you now. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But it should be on you staying there. Yeah. Amen. That's your mom. Amen. Amen. She's giving you the right to be there. Amen. 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 She shouldn't have to ask you to wash the dishes. It should, it should be given, already given. The dishes are washed. And if they're not washed, well, I'm washing them. I wash them when I get home. Amen. Amen. Is that likewise you younger? Likewise you younger. Submit yourselves unto the elder. Amen. We got some instructions from apostle. Amen. We got to submit ourselves to those instructions. Amen. Amen. We got to submit ourselves to those instructions. Amen. Sometimes the apostle gives instructions about our house on how we ought to do it. Amen. He ain't going to make us and they come in there and force us to do it. He tells us what we ought to do. Amen. And every time we do, like my brother said, every time we do what he tells us to do, it always turns out right. Amen. Why? Because it's by the spirit of Yahweh. 
Amen. Amen. If, 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 if Mother Connie got some insight to give Sister Missy, Sister Missy should consider it. Amen. Amen. Mother Connie's uh, as an, an elder in this place. She's el well, I can say, well, you know what I'm saying? She's she's a mother in this place. Amen. Older. Amen. Amen. She got more wisdom than you think. Amen. You'll never know till you try it. Amen. Mother Mary, she got wisdom. Amen. Amen. Been around a little while. Amen. She's always doing some spiritual stuff. Amen. Amen. Sister, Sister Deesa's been here for a while. She has some wisdom. Amen. And if, and if, and if uh, Sister Karen gives her instructions, she's going to do what the instructions Sister Karen told her to do. Amen. Amen. So uh, we, we gave him, he has given instructions to our, uh, our children. Amen. Jonathan and his wife. Concerning the baby. Amen. Concerning the house. Amen. Amen. And we did just that. Amen. Amen. But if we divide it, it's not going to stand. Amen. If we divide it, it's just not going to stand. If we add each other, it ain't going to stand. Amen. That's why I enjoyed Sister Missy's testimony. Amen. Amen. I enjoyed it. Amen. She said that, you know, when she lined up with what teacher, when she taught the apostle and the apostle gave the instruction and she lined up with what teacher uh, told her to do, and all of that, and she wrote her children and, 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 and set all that straight. She said, now, they're just, they wanted to go to uh, 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 Arlington, and they ain't got no complaints. They have nothing. They just went along with it. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you're not divided. Yeah. Amen. When you're not divided, when you're on one accord, uh, uh, everything will go smoothly. Yeah. Amen. Because it's Yahshua himself that said, a house divided won't stand. Hallelujah. He said, if Satan is against Satan, his house ain't going to stand. Amen. Amen. More, not, even more so with us. Amen. Even more so with us. Our house cannot be divided. We got to find some common ground. Amen. Somebody's got to give. Amen. Somebody's got to give. If nobody giving, guess what? That house is going to have no peace. Amen. It'll never have no peace. Amen. And it'll be lacking in all spiritual things. Amen. Why? Because I don't want to be in the same room with you now. You don't want to be in the same room with me now. Now I'm looking for a reason to leave the house. Turn off my turn off my eye share. Amen. I ain't going nowhere crazy, but I'm going just somewhere away from you. You going somewhere away from me? That's the way it'll be. And it has been that way for some houses. Amen. Amen. You're just in a parking lot somewhere doing nothing on your phone. You could be at home. But you don't want to be in the same house. You should not be out there. They think they thinking the worst thing ever. And you're just in the parking lot trying to have some peace. Amen. Amen. That's happened. Amen. It's happened to me. I can only speak by experience. But read. You younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Uh huh. Read. Yes, all of you. Be subject to one to another and be clothed with humility. It says we all must be subject one to another. Amen. We all should be subject one to another. Amen. Sometimes we have to give in to what each other says. Amen. Or what each other wants. Sometimes we have to. Amen. Amen. There's some things Teacher Picon knows that I don't know. He goes, you don't do that that way. You do it this way. And I'm like, you know that I'm the evangelist and you're just a teacher? Amen. Amen. And now it don't get done right. Amen. And then here comes that I told you so spirit that he got to fight with. Now he got to fight with that I told you so spirit. Amen. But if we're clothed in humility, amen, and we put on that, and we can humble ourselves, amen, and think that we don't have the answer for everything. Amen. We don't have the answer for everything. Hallelujah. If it comes in this Bible, we got the answer. Amen. Hallelujah. This church has the answer for that. Yes. Amen. Don't get us wrong. We had the answer for everything when it comes to this. Amen. Amen. But when it comes to our life, sometimes we got to humble ourselves. Amen. Be subject one to another. Because each one of them is, uh, each one of us are trying to walk like the Messiah. Amen. Amen. Correct? Amen. We're all trying to be the Messiah. So if somebody comes and gives you some advice, you should take it. You should take it. Amen. Amen. Consider it, in other words. 
Amen. Weigh it with the spirits. Yeah. Weigh it with the word. Is it right? Yeah. And if it's right and it's, and it's good, why not? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Read. You younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yes, all of you, be subject one to another and be clothed in humility. For God, Yahweh, resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. Now, you've been there where the spirits got on you and you shut down. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Or, 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 or your parents talking to you and you jump on your phone. Uh -huh. Or you go to your room and just get up in the middle of them talking to you, close the door and act like they ain't talking to you. Uh -huh. That's disrespectful. Amen. That's disrespectful. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Disrespectful to the spirit. You get you. The spirit is on you, trying to correct you, and you jump up and walk out. Don't you know Yahweh can smite you down? Smite you right in the middle of walking out. Amen. Heart give out on you. You fall right there because you don't want to change your ways. He said he resists the proud. He's gonna resist. If you prideful, you're gonna get rebuked. Amen. He's gonna resist you. He's not gonna give in. Nobody can tell you nothing? Not even the creator of heaven and earth? You don't want to hear him? And he's the one, the only reason that you're breathing today? It's that he resists the proud. But he gives grace to the humble. You know, I, I, I want to be humble. When I come in here and I pray, I pray, Yahweh, give me a heart of flesh Amen. when the word comes forth. Hallelujah. Give me a heart of flesh to accept it, no matter how hard it may be to me. That's why the Spirit can call my name and I can just say amen. amen. Sometimes I don't want to say amen. Hallelujah. And I want to do what I want to get up and walk out. I want to do all of that. Yeah. But it's my own ways that got me in that situation in the first place. Amen. My own choices that got me in that situation in the first place. Your own choices that got you want to walk out and go to the bathroom when you ain't really got to go. Yeah. Go stand in that bathroom and look in the mirror, checking your phone, ain't really using the restroom. Right. Run the water. Uh -huh. Running the water. You're wasting the bill. Amen. Acting like you washing your hands. You flush the toilet. You ain't used it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. That's right. Come out smelling like sanitizer on your hands, like you washed your hands. Only thing you did was go in there, play on your phone, touch your hair a few times, and touch the sanitizer and come out. And hoping that the word is on something else. Amen. 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 Take your time getting back into the sanctuary. Uh -huh. All of a sudden, you, you're thirsty, you're parched, you need some water, trying to hear where the spirit's at. Uh -huh. Amen. Read. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh, that he may exalt you in due time. So, humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh, that he may exalt you in due time. He'll exalt you if you do right. He's not a God that forgets your labor of love. Amen. He's not going to forget your labor of love, all the things that you did. Amen. Amen. All the bingos. Yeah, don't forget that. All of us gave up. If you're not, if you, I was born in Lubbock, but I wasn't raised here. Amen. Amen. My brother gave up everything to be here. My dad and mom gave up everything to be here. Mother Connie gave up everything to be here. I gave up everything to be here. Amen. Amen. We were in between jobs. We, we, our job got laid off. We got laid off because they sold the company. Yeah. Not because I wasn't a great worker. Right. But because they sold the company. Amen. Amen. And they only needed track the trailer drivers. They didn't keep none of us bobtail drivers. So they kept my brother. Yeah. Amen. But let everybody else go. Amen. Amen. Right. We was the light at that job. Amen. That's how we got Brother Andre there. Amen. That's how we, uh, we, we got Brother Chris to come on. Amen. Amen. Everybody else, they, they forsake Yahweh. Amen. They didn't, they didn't want to hear it. When we told them about the word, they closed it up say, no, 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 no. Let me show it to you. No, I don't want to see it. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah, they say they don't want to see it. Uh -huh. Amen. Right. But we were in between jobs. My wife, she, my wife got fired at the time because she uh, she needed days off to come to a church event, uh -huh. and, and and they just wouldn't give it to her. Right. Amen. Amen. And she was working there for like thirteen or fourteen years. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So it was only by the will of Yahweh something like that happens. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And at that time, I got dropped off. You know, I was ready to come to Lubbock anyway. You want to go to Lubbock with me? Amen. Come on. I came, and I've been here ever since. <laughs> Six years later, Amen. I'm still here. 
<laughs> Amen. And I'm, and I'm not bad, I'm mad about being here. I, I know that most, most of my grandchildren are in Arlington. Amen. Amen. Thank Yahweh that Yenai is back with her father. Amen. Amen. That's what me and my wife always pray for. Amen. Amen. We pray for Sarah to come on back. But if nothing else, Lord, send back the children. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Or send back the children. Because we, we already had a discussion before they was preaching it. Amen. That we'd rather have see Yahweh take them while they were innocent. Amen. Before he was preaching that, me and my wife already had that discussion. Amen. 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 We had that discussion. Like, better for them to be law, uh, to, to die while they're innocent. Amen. But to hear him say that, that was amen. Yeah, amen. That's right. That's the way it's supposed to be. Amen. amen. But I think Yahweh that Yahweh's merciful and that she's back with her father right now. Amen. I pray that this helps my daughter come on back and just do the right thing. Just give up this nonsense, foolishness of this world and come on. Amen. Amen. But all we can do is pray. That's all we can do is pray. Amen. Amen. Read. Casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for Don't you. Don't you know Yahweh is the one that cares for you? He truly cares. That's why he make a way out of no ways for you sometimes. Sometimes there sure ain't no way in how he make it for you. For you. He made a way for you. Amen. Because he cares for you. You got to cast your cares upon him. Amen. He knows what you need. He knows what you want, and he knows what you need. And sometimes it ain't the same thing. Sometimes you don't want what you need, and sometimes you need what you don't want. Amen? And sometimes you want what you don't need. Sometimes you want what you don't need. But I need another glove of Thanos for it. Hey, because my, my thumb broke off of it. Well, I need another one of those for it. I didn't need the first one. Amen. Amen. It was given. Thank you. Amen. Whoever gave it to me, I know who it was. Appreciate it. Amen. Yeah. But I'm not going to spend $200 to get another one of those. No. I don't need it. I don't need it. Amen. A lot of us spend money on things we don't need. Amen. Yeah. And why I'm worrying about this haircut, because he said $30 to get it cut. I'm thinking about being imaginative and cutting my own hair. <laughs> Save me $30. Amen. Give me some clippers and try to work some magic myself. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I mean, but I mean, if I if I can afford it, that's okay. Amen. But I want to make sure that I'm not uh, wasting my money on things I don't need. Amen. That's easy to do. Easy to do, especially you have a little bit extra. All of a sudden, you want to, and there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes. Amen. But you got to make sure you're paying your tithing. You're paying your offering. Your, your, your bills are paid up. Amen. Your kids and your, and, your, and your wife and everybody got enough food to last to the next paycheck. Amen. The gas in the car and all that. With all of that, you might be left with $3. So with them $3, go crazy. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and buy that king size sticker if you want to. Amen. Yeah, go all out. The king size. Amen. That's if you're doing it right. Amen. Or put that three dollars up. Amen. Save it till you make another three dollars. Then you can buy two king size next. next. Yeah, share one with your wife. <laughs> Amen. Marie, be sober. Be sober. Be vigilant. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, de the devil, as a roaring lion, walk about seeking who he may devour. Now, we've got to be sober. Amen. Amen. We're talking about, we, 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 uh, we, of course, we can't get drunk, so we're not talking about that kind of sober. We're talking about sober in the spirit. Amen. Making wise decisions. Amen. Amen. That's right. Making wise decisions for our family, for our house, for the church. Amen. Amen. And we got to be vigilant. That means stay ever watchful. Because we have an enemy out there that's trying to destroy you and your children. He wants to destroy you. And he will if you let him. And some of our children, he already got. But Yahweh has not allowed him to destroy them. Amen. Not yet. Amen. Hallelujah. 
We're praying for mercy and grace on that. Yahweh helped him to make it back. But he wants to destroy him. As soon as Yahweh takes his grace away from them, they will die. As soon as Yahweh takes his grace from us, we will die. Because your adversary, the devil, the one that's trying to give you all those things that you like, the one that's always saying, why is he looking at me like that? Why is he telling you in your ear? Why is she looking at you like that? What are they talking about? Are they talking about you? Why are they laughing in your direction? Amen. Amen. That, that one that says, hey, look at that. Let's go do that. That'd be fun. And you're thinking, yeah, that would be fun. If you do it this way and that way, you can get away with it. Nobody will know. Amen. That same spirit. That same spirit. Go, go look at that. Ain't nobody here. Look at it. Fill your eyes with all of that. Amen. Fill yourself with all of that. That same spirit, as soon as Yahweh takes his, his, his grace from you, will destroy you in a moment. Because he knows with every breath you can always repent. Amen. You can always turn back. Hallelujah. You can always uh, go back to Yahweh and clean yourself up. Amen. And so he'll destroy you right away. Amen. Amen. Everybody that died today whose grace ran out. Hallelujah. And that angel of death came for him. Amen. Angel of death didn't let him uh, abide another two or three days. Amen. That angel of death came for him as soon as their grace ran out. Amen. 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 Read. Whom resisting steadfast in the faith, knowing that knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. It says our adversary the roar, is like a roaring lion, seeing who we may devour. Amen? Amen. Our adversary, the devil, he's roaring all the time. Amen. He's always roaring in your ear. Amen. He's always telling you something. Amen. How you've been wronged. Or what's not right in the church. Yeah, he's always showing you something. Well, why do we got to do that? That sister ain't here or that brother ain't here. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Why do we got to listen to that? Amen. Uh -huh. The spirit didn't change because about the white shirts and stuff after a, a, a prophet and them were in jail and prison and not even in church no more. Uh -huh. Spirit didn't change his mind on that. We're still wearing white shirts 15 years later. Amen. Plain white shirts to church. Amen. We used to come with any color you wanted to. Or well, certain colors. It couldn't be too bright or nothing like that. Amen. Couldn't be, it couldn't be uh, like bright yellow or nothing like that. There was a time that it could be, but the Spirit shut all that down. Yeah, because pride came in. Amen. But we have an enemy, the devil. He's always trying to, to, to find. That's why if there's arguments in your house, the devil's there. Amen. You have arguments in your car, the devil's there. And we got to see him for who he is. We got to, we should not by this hour be ignorant of his devices. Amen. He used the same thing over and over. Amen. If it ain't broken and he don't fix it, it's not broken. I'm going to use it over and over. Amen. Which one of y'all uh, just give your car up? Uh, 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 because, you know, it's, your car is running fine. Your car is good and all that. All of a sudden you just like, now nah, I'm going to give you another car. Everybody but Brother Stephen, he does that. <laughs> he'll do that but in us we're too poor we can't afford that uh -uh. I, I ride my car till the wheels fall off <laughs> amen and try to keep the wheel from falling off by keeping it maintained yeah. Yeah. Amen. amen by keeping it maintained amen. amen but the devil if it ain't broke he ain't gonna fix it would you go buy a new light bulb in your house I'm gonna go replace all the light bulbs why any of you ever done that? Just go in the house and replace all the light bulbs just because? Only when they go out. That's the only time we do it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Right. And that's the way the devil works. If it ain't, if it ain't broken, it's going to come with the same old, same old. Amen. He knows your buttons. Amen. He pushes them all the time. Yeah. Amen. Always pushing your buttons. Amen. Always trying to keep you out the spirit. That's what he does. He's, seek, he's trying to get you weak enough so you'll get on out of here. Amen. And then you're his then. And now you're just living your life by the grace of God. And that's it. That's all you're living by because God's allowing you to be here. And he's not pleased with you. That's what he wants you. He wants you to go out there and destroy yourself. Amen. And whenever he tells you to leave and you just give up because he wants you to go out there and destroy yourself. 
That's all he wants. Amen. He's a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. And one thing you say about a lion, he don't roar for nothing. Amen. He's going to roar when he's hungry and wants to kill something. Amen. When that male lion gets up and he starts roaring, everything all, uh, in, that, in, that, in that jungle or in, that, in, that, in those plains, everything takes heed. Oh, yeah. Ears perk up. The lion's roaring. I think it's time to move um, further to the south. That came from the north. Amen. But we'll hear the lion roaring and we'll run right to it. Some will run right to it. Amen. We want to go investigate. Yeah. Then you don't know how you fell down and how you laid down. I don't know how he got me. I don't know how he got me. You put yourself in his mouth. Some of us put ourselves in the devil's mouth to put ourselves there. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Until you come to your senses and realize you're in a very dangerous situation. Yeah. Then you want to cry out. Yeah. And even in that foolishness, Yahweh will still pull you out. Yeah. And still has pulled you out. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah, Don't you know our time is limited on this earth? Yeah. You know, there was, a, there was a last day for my dad. He had a last day. He had a last day. Out of all the time, we're thinking, oh, that's far from you. He had a last day. Amen. That was a last day for Elder Turner. Amen. He had a last day. Amen. There was one time that he, he was there that Sunday, and he was gone that Monday. We just had a church fellowship where he was cooking for us in, that, in the room that they have all the food stored in. He was cooking on the grill right there. I forgot what he was cooking for, a pancake or something. He, breakfast. He was making us something on the grill. The next day, we were, we were all going to the hospital with that call. And he was already gone. We didn't know that Sunday was going to be his last Sunday at church. Amen. Amen. That was the last day for Mother Brenda. Amen. Amen. That was the last day for her. She had a final day. Amen. A day came, and I got that call at 3 in the morning from Pastor Diaz. Crying, saying she's gone. Three in the morning. I have no idea what you're talking about. What are you talking about? He said, she's gone. She's gone. Yane is gone. She's dead. What are you talking about? That day came. That day actually came. Though we don't, you know, uh, she wasn't planning uh, on dying that day. That wasn't her agenda. I think I'll just die tonight. Amen. No, she had plans for to go to work the day after. And to go to work all week, no doubt. Amen. And to get ready to pay some of those bills she had. Yeah. Thinking about cooking cheapy something delicious that he might like later. Amen. She wasn't planning on going, but that day eventually caught up with her. Amen. As the last day for uh, 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 Evangelist uh, Anderson. Yeah. Yeah. A last, there was a day appointed for him to die. Yeah. Mother Effie's husband, he died at the stop sign. Yeah. At a stop sign in a car. At a stop sign, his heart gave out. He was dead at the stop sign. Yep. His hour had come. Yes. Don't you know there's a, an hour coming for all of us? Yes. Amen. And it could be at any time. Yes. Lord. It could be at any time. Hallelujah. Everybody looking at Elder like, yeah, he's going to be the next one because he's so, they you know, those older ones. They, I mean, they're closer. Yes. But who's to say we ain't going to die before them? Yeah, there's some children that die before their parents do. Amen. 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 Of course, we want them here as long as possible. Amen. But a day's coming, Miss Brenda. There's a day that's coming for you. Amen. There's a day that's going to come that you're not going to wake up in that morning. Amen. And the Bible says after death is judgment. Amen. After death, you're going to stand before the Almighty God. And he ain't going to hear no excuses now. Right. He's done with excuses. How come you didn't get baptized? The excuse that you give. How come you didn't serve me while you had you had two sons serving me? Why didn't you come? Amen. And that day you're gonna have to give an answer. Amen. That day you're gonna have to give an answer. Amen. And the time is coming. The time is coming. I can say in a hundred years we all ain't gonna be here. In a hundred years. Amen. But who said we're going to be here in ten? Amen. Who said we're going to be here in five? 
Amen. Who said we're going to be here in two? Amen. Just because Ryan's young don't mean that his last day ain't coming. Amen. Of course, we never want that, but that, um, there's a lot of young people his age in the grave. Amen. Doing their own thing. Having uh, following the ways of the world. Right. Amen. Amen. A lot of people your age in that grave. Who got to face judgment. You're old enough to know right and wrong now. Amen. You're old enough now. Yeah. Yahweh's going to judge you. He's not going to play pity pat with you. Amen. Is that I saw the dead, both small and great, stand before God. Both small and great. Small and great. People that are old enough to know the right and wrong. Amen. They're going to stand before God and give an account. And you will be cast into the lake of fire. You ain't going to go willingly. The Bible says you're going to be cast there. That means you're going to fight going. But the angels will remind you that you are going to cast you in that lake of fire. Amen. A day is coming for all of us, saints. And that's why the Spirit's crying out so hard all the time about us getting our lives, laying down this foolishness in this life that we're going through. Amen. Foolishness that we choose to give in to. Those small foxes, they're always the small ones. Amen. We're, we're done doing the big ones. We ain't doing the big ones no more. Amen. It's those small ones we got. He said, put off all these as well. Malice. Wrath. You got to put off malice, getting back at people. Wrath, being mad all the time. Covetous. Amen. You got to get rid of that. You got to get rid of those the big ones. The small ones you got to get rid of. Emulation. Always trying to compete with each other. The Bible says we got to get rid of that. That's a spot. Amen. That's a blemish. That's a wrinkle. It said put off also all of these. And name the big stuff. And then they start naming little stuff. But we consider little stuff. But all of it's worthy of fire. Amen. All of it's worthy of fire. Amen. Blaspheming. I don't believe we got to take that. We got to do all that. Amen. Spirit said that. I don't believe I do all that. Filthy communication. Talking back Amen. to the spirit. Yeah. Talking bad about your brother and sister. Amen. Filthy communication. Yeah. You got to put off that too. You can't be on there gossiping about what you heard or what you've known Amen. or what somebody done told you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Amen. Yeah. I, I, I have a best friend in here. Amen. I don't tell my best friend everything that I know Amen. that's going on in the church. Yeah. If it's for him to know, he'll know it. Amen. But just to give some random information, yeah. I'm not, he's not a trash can. She shouldn't be a trash. You shouldn't be a trash. Don't want to be a trash can. Amen. You got to not want to be a trash can. Hallelujah. Amen. Talk about somebody and there's no hope behind it. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know why they're still in church. We got to put off that emulation. Amen. You got to put all of this small stuff out. Hallelujah. It's, it's in it's time now. That's what they say is in game now. It's, a, it's the final moments of this earth. This, the last days of this earth are here. It was the last and evil days 2,000 years ago. Amen. How closer is it now? Hallelujah. It was almost, it, it was almost over then. But we're way closer now. Amen. He really can step out the clouds right now. Amen. And we live our life like he don't. Why? Because you said something mean to me this way. I don't like the way she said that to me. They're not going to my favorite place to eat. You'd be surprised. What are we going to exchange our soul for? You going to what you going to exchange your soul for? To, have, to, 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 to get a little revenge? Huh? To have the last word? That last word will get you lost. That last word will get you lost in this place. Amen. 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 Getting back at your coworker. Amen. Being a busybody in other men's matters. Hey, I saw Marcy. She wasn't working. Yeah, she's hiding in the corner back in that corner back there. 
Amen. Yeah. But we got to remember, saints. Hey, Amen. We're going to face Yahweh one day. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember what we said uh, 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 last time I preached? When was that? Thursday? Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments. Yeah. Amen. For this is the whole duty of man. Amen. Because he's going to bring into judgment everything you've done in this world, whether it's good or it's evil. Amen. And the thing about this, this world is because they're not in this place, they don't realize that, they're gonna, that burning is going to be forever. When they die, they die with no fear. Like, yeah, I'm just ready to go. Amen? Right. A day came for Miss Paula. Yes. They're having her memorial today. Amen. We're going to miss her. Right. But her day did come. Amen. Her appointed time did arrive. And we all have an appointed time. And it's a lot closer than we hoping for. It's a lot closer than we hoping for. Because I want to live to see a thousand years in good health. Amen. I don't ever want to die. Amen. Truth is, none of us ever want to die. Amen. But if I die, I want to die white. Right? Amen. I want to die with my clothes white. Yeah. Clean and, and pure. I don't want to have a wrinkle. I don't want to have a spot on my garment. I don't want to have any such thing. Amen. 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 I remember that dream that my brother had. That uh, he was standing in the great white throne. He was in line. And he looked down and there was a spot. He said, right? On his garment. Everybody. everybody he looked and everybody was in white. And they had people had spots and stains and every all of that. And he looked down or he didn't, he looked down to see what he had. I don't think he saw what he had. He woke up before he saw what he had, but everybody was standing in that line had some spot, some wrinkle, some blemish. Yes, Amen. Hallelujah. Is your robes white? Hallelujah. Only you can answer that. Yes, some wives are saying, yours ain't. Some husbands are saying, I know my wife's ain't. <laughs> Amen. Don't worry about theirs. It's yours clean. Hallelujah. Have you done all that you can do? Amen. Have you purified yourself? Hallelujah. Amen? Yes. Have you, are you ready for that day? That's what we're here for, saints. Amen. Amen. So let's walk accordingly. Amen. Amen. Let's, let's walk with fear. Amen. Let's walk with love and charity for one another. Yes, let's be those people that Yahweh would have us to be. Amen. Amen. Well, that's all my time. I thank Yahweh for the word. I pray that it find it to help you. Let's be strong, saints. Hallelujah. The devil is still out here. And he is still trying to destroy you. But remember what the scripture says. Only he that now letteth will let until they be taken away. Amen. Amen. But I'm not going to put on the time. I'm going to turn the service in the hands of teacher Picon. Let all saints rise and receive him by saying, praise Yahweh.